Do you need to know the percent chromium and oxygen in chromium 3 oxide? Well, I'm going to teach you how to do it. Watch how simple this is. We're first going to find the mass and then we can find those percents. Ready? Bam. So the first step is we're going to write down the elements we see in the compound, right? So we have chromium, Cr, and we have oxygen, O. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So the subscript of chromium is a 2, and that means we have 2 chromium. The subscript of oxygen is a 3, so that means we have 3 oxygens. Next, we're going to take those number of atoms and then multiply it by the mass of each particular element, which is found on the periodic table. So let's take a look. Chromium's mass is 52. Oxygen is going to be 16. And those masses can be in gram per mole or AMU, depending upon if you're finding molar mass or molecular mass. We're just going to write down the magnitudes because, quite honestly, that's all that we care about. So 52, right, for chromium and oxygen is going to be 16. Then to find the total mass of each element of the compound, you just got to simply multiply the row. Look at how easy that is, right? So 52 times 2 is 104. By gosh, by golly, I hope I'm right with that. And 16 times 3 is 48. I hope I'm right with that too. You're like, you hope you're right. I hope you're right too. All right. Now I'm having a conversation with myself. Add up this column to find the total. All right, so it's going to be 152. And that was the first step, right, to find this mass of the entire compound. So now what we're going to do is we are going to add another column to the table, and we'll simply calcul calculate those percentages very quickly. Bam. So to find the mass percent of, let's say, chromium, we need to take the total mass of chromium and then divide it by the total mass of the entire compound. Hence why we had to do that first. So this is basically 104 over 152. Forget about the zeros. Who cares? You might say, well, what about the sig figs? Quite honestly, I don't care. I don't care about the sig figs, right? Who cares about them? Your professor might when he or she takes off, you know, 17 points on the problem because you forgot one sig fig. But what are you going to do? Uh, next one for oxygen, you're going to do 48 over 152 times it by 100, simple part over whole. Part over whole times 100, that's a percent, okay? When you calculate that, it's going to be 31, 31.58%. Uh, bada bing, bada boom. You can always check yourself. Make sure these percents add up to 100. And by gosh, by golly, I hope it does. Thanks so very much for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hopefully now you know how to calculate the mass percent here of chromium and oxygen and chromium-3 oxide. All right, check out some more of our videos, like and subscribe, it helps us out tremendously and allows us to keep producing free content for you. All right, for ya. See you in the next one. Take it easy.